Researchers from the Tokyo Institute of Technology have created a six-legged robot that walks with diverse gaits and postures. For example, the hexapod bot can walk with three legs straight out from its sides like an ant, or with the legs spread more evenly around its body like a cockroach. I guess I'm doing this for ant and this for cockroach? The work is part of an effort to design robots to move more naturally as they navigate natural environments with uneven surfaces. The researchers developed a new biologically inspired controller that uses a network of nonlinear oscillators, which enables a diverse number of postures and gates using only a few high level variables. The controller has two levels, a pattern generator circuit that controls the gate and six local pattern generators that control the trajectories of the individual legs. Each performs based off of years of previous research. As you can see in the video, the bot is essentially learning how to walk. It struggles until it finds its balance and gait. In the past, it has been near impossible to mimic an animal's brain. They're too complex to condense into a pattern generator, which serves as the robot's artificial brain of sorts. This simplified brain not only worked, but the robot used gates that weren't even designed into it. It's able to adapt to its environment. According to the researchers, they have yet to crack how these complex movements are performed by such simple creatures. But the study could eventually lead to new ways to control multi-legged robots or even a future that uses brain-computer interfaces. Plus, it's creepy looking. Like a dirty pickle. Space 10 is IKEA's innovation lab. This week, the lab reimagined five classic entrees as the fast food of the future. While you won't find them in your local stores anytime soon, we must consider if and when restaurants will add mealworm burgers and microalgae buns to the menu. Mealworms. Among the new grub is the dogless hot dog, which consists of dried and glazed carrots, beet and berry ketchup, mustard and turmeric cream, roasted onions, cucumber salad, and an herb salad mix. Really, it sounds like a decent recipe for a wrap and even has more protein. But then you realize that they're serving it on a bun made from microalgae. Sure, it has 50 times more iron than spinach, but also the visual appeal of a moldy vegetable. At best, a dirty pickle. Like the Incredible Hulk's hands if they were severely chapped. Just like an old Nerf football that you find on the top of a pond and you get it and it seems dry, but it still makes that sound like <laughs> The Bug Burger, I think you know where this is going, is a new take on a slider patty made up of beetroot, parsnip, potatoes, and mealworms. Mealworms. Then there's the Neat Ball, a new take on Ikea's classic meatballs with two recipes. One made with mealworms, I guess they just have like a large supply of beetle larvae, and the other is made of carrots, parsnips, and beets. Really, they just divvied up the ingredients of the bug burger. Eelworms. They also created a local salad, which is both locale and locally grown. Consisting of ingredients from the hydroponic garden in the test lab's basement, the salads are a mix of microgreens, herbs, and sprouts. Now the dessert to finish this meal is a microgreen ice cream made using hydroponic herbs and greens. Flavors include fennel, coriander, basil, which is good with gin, and mint combined with a base made from apple and lemon juices. Mmm, delicious ice cream with coriander, apple, and lemon juices. Mmm, I say we just toss a few more mealworms in there. You know, you gotta get your protein. Mm. You have to hand it to them. When asked about the mealworms, they said, hey, what do you think your burgers are made of today? And it scared me. Mmm. Mealworms. Like a dirty pickle. Nonprofit News Story and construction company Icon have created the first permitted 3D printed home in the United States. Located in Austin, Texas, the home is a proof of concept that can be 3D printed in 12 to 24 hours. According to Icon, the home was built using its Vulcan mobile printer prototype for $10,000. The production version of the printer will be able to print a single story, 600 to 800 square foot home for less than $4,000. The printer was designed to work with little to no waste, as well as in harsh environments, such as places with limited water, power, and labor infrastructure. 
The low cost and sturdy homes could be a viable answer for impoverished people around the globe. I mean, it certainly looks sturdier than my old mobile home and a lot less flammable. Mobile homes typically cost around $20,000 and some people are downsizing to tiny homes that can run up to 40 grand for a 400 square foot home. According to New Story, more than 1 billion people in the world don't have safe shelter. With this new process, construction time and cost could be dramatically reduced, hopefully improving living situations for people around the world. The partnership has plans to build an entire community of homes in El Salvador by 2019, but they are still in need of additional funding. New Story is looking for $600,000 by April 13th to fund the next phase of R&D, and another $400,000 for the first community of 100 printed homes. That's 100 homes for what some people spend on a single house. The project debuted at South by Southwest 2018, which could be why they snuck that little Easter egg in there. I saw the book, Elon Musk, This Book is About Rockets on top of the stack on the desk. The children's book looks to inspire the next generation of tinkerers and big thinkers. And it just so happens to center around the tech industry's biggest draw. Who knows, maybe Musk is interested in yet another business venture. I'm David Manti, this is Engineering by Design. Like if you were painting your room white and then dropped a pickle on the floor, hit some paint.